I got a good question and an idea for a video the other day um, from Patrick. He was moving a site from his local host to uh, Bluehost. Um, luckily enough, I have a Bluehost account, and so I'm going to move my tutorial from my HostGator account to my Bluehost account just to kind of show you how how that can happen and, and how that takes place. Now, obviously, what you're looking at here is the error um, I get. I have the files moved over, but I don't have the SQL database moved over. Um, so before we get our head over ourselves, here's my old site. This is what I wanted to see. Um, photos, all the cool stuff, whatever. Um, first and foremost, when we're moving our Drupal site, uh, we need to move our uh, SQL database, our files, and modify the settings.php. Um, so the first thing we can do before we move our settings that or move our SQL database is we need to create um, unless you're using the same SQL server, which you most likely will not be, you need to create a database, a user, and a, uh, and attach that user to the database on the new side, uh, on on the new server. Now I've already done that, um, so I've just kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Uh, uh, the second thing to do is to download the files from the old server from from FTP and upload them to the new server from FTP. Um, if you can FTP them straight across, if you got that kind of access on your servers, that's great. If you're working on localhost, all you got to do is upload them to the new side. But you will have to move your files around. Uh, and then you will have to modify the settings.php uh, that we'll get to in a second. But first and foremost, I've already created my server, uh, or created my SQL accounts, but I haven't moved my SQL over. Um, if I look at uh, PHP my admin uh, on my on my HostGator side, um, I've got all my tables and my structure for this database. Uh, easiest thing to do: go to that export and leave it the default settings, the quick. Um, you'll see it displays only minimal options. Uh, you can do more if you want to, but I'm not going to. Um, and the format, you've got a lot of formats that you can send it in. Um, I don't necessarily need to send it in. A lot. I just need to send it in straight SQL. So I'm going to go with SQL, hit go, and it's going to ask me to save it or open with or save it. I'm going to save it to my local side. Um, and you see that it's only a 2.7 meg file. It's great. It's small. Now I'm going to upload that to 2.7 meg to the new side. And luckily, again, PHP or uh, uh, PHP my admin is on Bluehost. So all I've got to do is head to import, and it's going to let me select my file. Let's go to downloads, and I've got it there twice um, from a little bit ago, but there we go. Browse, I'm going to leave it at the default options, and hit go. So we wait for that file to upload, and um, like I said, it's got a max of 50 megs, so keep that in mind if you've got a very large SQL database. If it's that large, you might want to go to a different host anyways than Bluehost because, um, or go go away from shared hosting period uh, and go to something more dedicated, uh, maybe VPS or or uh, Amazon's AWS or Rackspace or something. Um, so now I've got my SQL moved over. I've got my uh, files moved over. Um, I did that earlier with FileZilla. Uh, FileZilla is great. Find the folder you want or find your Drupal install. Download. Then when you're ready to upload it, right click, upload to the new side. Um, obviously you got to connect to the new, connect to the old side first, then connect to the new side. But uh, if you don't use FileZilla and you're working on these remote stuff, I don't know what you're doing, but this is the best way to do it. Um, so on to Nano, uh, moving it from um, from HostGator to Bluehost, uh, you will have to change your settings.php. Um, Nano is a great command line text editor, um, and and it's easy. You may have to do, depending on the permission set, um, you may have to do sudo nano if you're on, uh, uh, if depending on the permissions, if you're on Linux or, or Mac. If you're on Windows, um, you're on your own. Uh, but nano settings.php, and you can read through this. Um, it's really great to tell to uh, read about multi-site installs and whatnot. Um, but all I'm concerned with, because I've got a single install here, uh, now this was, it says Bluehost database, this should say um, HostGator. Or 
or rather it should say HostGator when we're starting because HostGator is where I was going from, Bluehost is go, who I'm going to. Um, and that makes no reflection on, on either services. I do I subscribe with both of them, so um, I do enjoy both of them. I think they both have their benefits and their drawbacks. Um, and I've also got an Amazon cloud service. I love playing with all that stuff. It's fun. Um, but this is what, you, what you're concerned with is the, the database, the user, and the password. Um, from HostGator to Bluehost, uh, it's, it's going to stay localhost, and the driver is going to stay MySQL. There's no specific port, no prefix. If you're going to, from like Bluehost to a GoDaddy, I know GoDaddy hosts their uh, SQL servers on different servers, so you'll have to change that information there. Instead of doing localhost, it'll be whatever server you're going to be on, um, and so on and so forth. But for HostGator and Bluehost, it's going to be localhost. And then um, mine says HostGator underscore database. This is a fake name. Put, what, put whatever your actual database, new database name is. And when you create the database, it will tell you. Um, so if I come in here, Bluehost, and I've already made these changes on um, my official file, but um, control, F, control O will save it, and then you hit enter, and it saves, and then control X to exit, or uh, if you hit control X, uh, Y for yes, because you want to overwrite it, enter, done. Uh, now I've got my settings.php saved. Uh, re upload that file if, if you upload an older version of it. Um, but now I've got my database, I've got my files done, moved over, I've got my database moved over, and I've got my settings.php done. So this error right here, um, when I went to the site before, before I uploaded my SQL, um, now it should, should come back uh, just like my site does. Um, and there it is. Username, database, nothing changed. Um, it's, uh, oops, helps if you type your password correctly. There you go. Logged on. Everything's great. Um, I'm on. I'm on a different account. I'm on. Uh, you know, I can show you. Uh, take these awesome photos. Edit it, and we'll take out one of the storm ones. Storm one back in the back. Uh, could use some storms lately. Um, there we go. So you see this guy and the new one. Make a change. Nothing's changed. So. It's great, it's easy. Um, SQL, files, settings.php, uh, and then you should be on your new site. So good luck, and if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Or if you got any, anything specific or ideas for videos, uh, do what Patrick did and send me a message, and we'll go through it. Thanks.